Hey friend, I got some exciting news. I'm working on a new book and it is all about singing to God and it's going to come out soon. And that's kind of my topic today. You see, David, the king of Israel, faced numerous challenges, both physical and spiritual. However, he never lost faith in God and always turned to him for help and strength. And one of the most powerful expressions of David's faith can be found in his song in Psalm 63, where he sings about God being his fortress in the midst of threatening danger. And so Saul, the man David faithfully served, was pursuing David and wanted to kill him. Can you imagine? And it was by the Dead Sea where David hid in the cliff caves in En Gedi from Saul and his 3,000 soldiers. And it was a desperate situation. David turns to singing passionate prayers to God. He's saying, Oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. And he was right near the desert and the Dead Sea was below him. So you can hear the deep longing for God's presence. He remembered the manifest presence of the Ark of the Covenant that he enjoyed sitting in front of when he sang praises to God. David knew the power of singing praise and singing prayers. He was going through a difficult time in his life and he felt spiritually parched and in the need of God's help. You see, it was here in En Gedi, north of the massive rock Masada, if you've ever been there, David vividly sings God's protection and strength. And he writes, Because of your steadfast love, which is better than life, my lips will praise you, so I will bless you as long as I live. And in your name, I will lift up my hands and my soul will be satisfied with the fat and rich food and my mouth will praise you with joyful lips when I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night for you have been my help and my shadow and I, and I remain in the shadow of your wings and I will sing for joy. You see, David sees God as a defender, a safe place, his stronghold, his fortress and his shield in times of trouble. And Saul's army was in Gedi looking for David in the ravine, checking the cliff caves. Saul was not going to get David if God was his protector, but David vows to praise God for the rest of his life, no matter what happens. Now, the final verses of Psalm 63 show David's confidence in God's power and sovereignty. And he writes, But the king shall rejoice in God, and all who swear by him shall exalt, for the mouths of liars will be stopped. You see, David was facing enemies who were trying to undermine him, and they were lying, and he was confident that God would protect him and expose him and, and expose the lies of the enemy. So in this prayer psalm, Psalm 63, we see David's faith in God. He's turned to sing to God in prayer in times of need, and God provided for him and protected him. So I encourage you to sing your prayer to God in times of trouble. You see, when you sing prayer songs to God in a worship service or in your car or at home, you're not just singing a song. Your spirit is praying to God. So mean every word. God's not interested in the art or the performance of the song. He's interested in hearing your heart cry like David's heart cry in Psalm 63. You see, Psalms 1 to Psalm 72 are considered prayer songs. And David made this a way of life. So I challenge you to sing your prayers to God. Oh, God, help me in times of trouble. Don't worry about going from speech to singing to chanting to your heavenly language. Just pray with melody. Well, I hope that helps you. God bless.